Hi, all young ones. We know you are out there getting ready for Halloween, so your good friend, Officer Paul Tapao, your good friend and mine is here, and we are going to talk about not only getting ready for Halloween, but in particular, um, what homeowners and people that actually invite people for Halloween parties and just want to pass out candy, what they can do to be safe. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> Halloween is a special time for the kids because, one, they get to dress up as their favorite characters, you know, wear the costumes, when they, you know, it's a festive time because they're going to be walking around the neighborhoods looking for the best streets. But, you know, you as a homeowner, again, uh, we like to thank the homeowners, the responsible homeowners who take the time to make their home safe. Um, you know, you're going to have a lot of foot traffic coming into your driveway and everything. Please make sure that your driveway is well lit. Um, that way kids don't stumble and fall as they're walking up. You know, they may, you know, the rumor might be that this house has the biggest uh, uh, Kit Kat and Milky Way uh, bars that they're giving out. So they're giving away Butterfingers, bro. <laughs> kids are going to be flocking there and everything. And, you know, you want to start with the driveway, make sure it's well lit. And make, make your home inviting. You know, if you have um, Halloween uh, gadgets and everything that you want to put up to be in the, the festive mode for Halloween, um, you know, make sure that the kids can see it. Make sure that the wires are, are not um, put out to so where the people walk over it, they don't trip over it. Um, you know, take the time to assess your home to make sure that the foot traffic in a way it's not going to interfere with what your decorations that you put on and you know uh, make it inviting mm -hmm. really it is the so more inviting the way, your home is tell me what house is passing out the kit kat because that sounds <laughs> good i love kit kat oh that's that's the best i always uh, scream my kids bags every time you know i i'm sharp rolling them like the first thing i go screen for right yeah <laughs> what happened to all the kit kat oh dad's got it. daddy approved so <laughs> you know so, it's so you know <clears throat> um, guamanians have gotten rather creative and and you know with safety in mind paul over mm -hmm. the years but um sometimes before you would say like you just advised, they say, you know, light the entire walkway up to the up to the door. Yeah. Um, sometimes that can get expensive or, you know, like it's not always available. Sometimes you got a good street light. So some people actually take all of the candy and they put out like a lawn chair and they meet the kids like over at the sidewalk right underneath the street light. Yeah, that, 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 that also is great, too, because, you know, it keeps the kids from um, going into your property. It keeps anything from happening with your property. Um, if you got a dog. Yeah, you know, if you stay by the gated area, you can actually just, just you know, hand your candies out there. And, you know, it really varies with different homeowners and how they do it. But you know, take the time. If you are inviting people to walk up to your house, make sure that it's well lit and make sure it's free from any obstacles that kids might trip over. Mm. Now for people that want to play music, um, that might be a little bit of a distraction. Do you, do you have like any problem with people like, you know, putting out like maybe, you know, like an, an iPod or, you know, even for people that still have boom boxes and everything like that and maybe turning the music a little bit loud? No, I really, some of the houses, they actually play like a scary, uh, um, you know, soundtracks to, to movies that, you know, you're walking and you hear the soundtrack to uh, Friday the 13th or Amityville and it's like, oh, this is creepy. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, wow, these guys are really in the Halloween sphere. But, you know, it really is the creativity of the homeowners and how they approach it. And, you know, safety should always be in mind. All right. Well, I understand a pachinko parlor is this week's crime of the week. Yeah, this is the uh, rash of pachinko robberies that we've been seeing. So this is your crime of the week. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> On Thursday, the 25th of August, at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, officers from the 2120 Precinct Command responded to a robbery call at the Game Time Game Room located at the airport plaza in Tumwini. Now, according to the police report, two unknown male individuals wearing green long sleeve jackets entered the game room with the individual splitting up with one suspect entering the caster's cage and with the other suspect standing outside the caster's cage acting as a lookout. The suspects then began demanding money as the suspect within the caster's cage put a black handgun from his bag and started pointing the gun at the caster. Fearful for her safety, the cashier immediately complied with and handed the suspect an unknown amount of U.S. currency. Both suspects were then seen fleeing out the main entrance to the establishment. As a result of this robbery, no one was harmed. The victim only described the suspects to be male locals, and the Guam Crime Stoppers and the Guam Police Department need your help in reference to this robbery case. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to a thousand dollars if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime all right officer to final tip for people that will be hosting um trick-or-treat events or even full parties sometimes adults um, want to dress up too because they can get the kids really into it but if adults dress in like a certain like costume 
they can scare away like the real little kids. So are you, what would you recommend? Maybe just maybe the Iron Man, not necessarily, you know, the Grim Reaper. And it, 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 it's pretty much the theme of the house. And if you're escorting young adults or toddlers and everything and you feel that it's not age appropriate, then you might think twice, but really for the enjoyment and the excitement, hey, why not, you know, mm -hmm. go for it. <laughs> Hey, nothing wrong with My Little Pony. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with walking into the that house at Barragata Heights that has that haunted house. I mean, we get a kick out of that. Even still, until this, my age, <laughs> I enjoy it. So, you know, well, by all means, you know, knock yourself out, but be safe about it. Okay, and there's a lot of neighborhoods just like Barragata Heights. Like you talked about last week, Barragata Heights, uh, Hyundai down in Santa Rita and everything. And the community there all gets together and they collectively make sure mm -hmm. that everybody that visits there has a really safe time. Yeah, you know, that's just a the hallmark names that everybody says you know that everybody wants to visit so there is you know there is that reputation to to protect you know that a i got to carry this out again this year because kids came to my house because they wanted to see this that de uh, decoration and you know people put out for this people people go the extra mile and it's fun it's enjoyed by both the young and the old okay paul we'll tell you what i'm going to make you a deal you get all the kit kat i get all the milky way absolutely we'll all take right. care of that <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much we appreciate it thank you take care stay tuned we're back after this